Hi everyone, I wanted to show you um, kind of like a file folder that I'm going to be adding into this week and it will probably be in his uh, work box, in my preschool work box, um, for a while. So I just wanted to show it to you because it's um, with the letter F and um, since that's what he's doing now for the week, it got added in. Before I start with that, I wanted to show you the little globe. <laughs> This is a bouncy ball. Um, I found it at Target. It's got like a little fish in it. And um, let me see if I can hit it hard enough. Sorry, had to bounce it. But pretty much it glows. It's got glitter, um, things like that. And this is a cap that I got from the laundry. So I have made the boys a little snow globe pretty much. Um, what they have been doing with this is whoever behaves the best gets to keep this uh, snow globe on their desk. So, like my preschool son, will put his in here and he just holds the snow globe until he does not do, you know, what he's supposed to be doing in school, etc., etc. So then it transfers to his brother. So then his brother keeps it on his desk until... You know, if he misbehaves or, you know, starts uh, bothering his brother or something like that, then he loses it. Um, the point is that today on Wednesday, um, whoever has the globe gets to have a ticket. So, uh, and those are our tickets that I give as far as treasure boxes. And I will do a video when they receive their treasure box and you'll get to see the ticket. Now, this ticket is worth five coins. So for five coins, they get to go into their five coin treasure box. So that's what they look forward to. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea in case you want to find, you know, yourself a little ball or something or do something similar. Um, it's working great for behavior as far as it goes in our classroom. So I'm loving that idea. Anyways, um, back to the file folder. So this file folder has picture cards and it has numbers. Um, and then it has some questions and this sheet and I will show you what that's for. So this is the water. Um, the picture cards are little goldfish. So pretty much what I do is, let me pull some out and I will show you what I will be doing. I'll put those to the side. Okay, so basically I will um, he pretty much will be read this. My friend has, let's say, two fish. Okay, so he has to figure out to put two fish in the water. On her birthday, she was giving two more. So he has to figure out to put two more. Whatever number I write here, it's dry erase, so I stuck it in these uh, CD sleeves so I can erase and write. And then the question is, how many does she have? So once he figures out what the total is for the question, he goes into his number envelope. And he finds his number envelope. And the numbers are, as you can see, numbers that he will trace. So these numbers go from 1 through 20. So this worksheet that I have here, which is also dry erase, I will put that number in there. So he's going to be doing pretty much a total of nine problems because there's nine slots. And these are baseball card holders, so the numbers fit in there perfectly. And when he fills completely the nine slots, then he has to take his dry erase marker and actually trace whatever numbers are in here. So he can put them any way he wants, any order he wants, but those will be the numbers that he will be tracing as far as the game goes. So he has a problem that's for adding, and then he also has a problem that's for subtracting which it says, you know, blank fish went for a swim, blank got caught on a net, how many fish are left free? So pretty much I'll just change the numbers, you know, giving him different problems, etc., until he fills up his nine slots. And then he takes this worksheet, he goes to his um, desk, and he does his problem. And um, these worksheets, um, if you want them, just let me know, and I'll find you uh, the link that I got them from. I've had that link saved like on my computer, but I can try to find it for you and I should be able to find it for you, so just let me know and I will. But this is a game that he's going to be playing. I'm sure we'll get lots of views out of it. When he learns these questions, I will put in new ones. Um, 
So anyways, I just wanted to share what I have been working on tonight. Um, hope you like it. Um, stay tuned for our other videos. Um, thanks for watching.